Oh, oh look in there. Oh, it's a quarter, I think. It's got to be a quarter. It is. It's big, man. It's a quarter, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, man, I think it's seated. digging the juke joint we're going to the new location in uh, my previous video you saw where I went to the historical aerials map and went out and took my drone up and got the exact location I held that spot uh, for uh, Bayou digs but Bayou digs could not make it and army man couldn't make it to the locations so I have nugget noggin with me again today <laughs> So we're going on the brand new virgin uh, site that we have done the historical research, talked to the landowner. I've never been on this, and so we're gonna see what we can come up with today. I'm hoping we can find some good stuff because I did a video doing the research, so I want the research to pay off. So hopefully we'll get something that we can show you guys. So it's rainy today, it's supposed to clear out of here and be a little sunny later on, but hopefully that's not gonna dampen our spirits. We're gonna get out there and have some fun and find some good coins. Nugget got all the silver in the last hunt. Now I'm gonna get all the silver this hunt. So what do you wanna get today, Nugget? What do you wanna call? I'll have to get some of your silver if you're gonna get it all. I want some barber <laughs> silver. I don't care what it is. I, I just, want a seated. A seated. Yeah. I hope we both get some seated. So well, let's get out there and uh, see what we can find and find, and we'll see you guys out in the field. All right, we made it out here on location now, and uh, we are still at, we're at the second juke joint. The first juke joint is 1,700 feet up from us where we are now. This is actually closer to where the ghost town was, and the ghost town is about another 1,500 feet just that direction. And uh, so let me turn you around, I'll show you the layout here. This is where we're going to be out here today. Nuggets filming, and right there is the, um, there is the, uh, the well right there. Uh, where that hickory tree is growing out was the old well. There was a little rise right here where something was, but the house sat right out yonder. And so we're going to be going out that way and uh, see what we can come up with today. All right, here's the well. And according to the 1958 map, we turn right here and we walk straight out there. And that little high rise right out there, that, that kind of that lighter colored grass, or that greener grass, is where the house set. So we're gonna work ourselves from this spot out to that spot, see what we can get. All right, this is my first signal out here. I've been, uh, I'm right at where I, my uh, measurements measured off right here. All those blackbirds over there. Uh, right here in this low spot, right on up to this spot right here is where I think the house was according to the measurements. And my first target is a 20 at six inches. So uh, maybe it's the Indian? I don't know. Let's see. I've dug up some bottle caps already, ringing up at 22. So let's see what this is gonna be. Not in the hole. Yep, there it is, right there. I see it. It'll be an Indian right there. Nice looking Indian head. Let's see if we can pluck it. I can't tell. Let's see. Be wet. 19. Let me see if I can just wipe it on my pants right quick. Come out looking good. I just wiped all the tarnish off of it. The, the Tony, 1906. 1906 Indian head penny. Now that I put it in the time frame. All right, let's get some pictures. And let's keep on swinging. Well, I was getting a 13. I didn't even record this one because I didn't think it was going to be anything. Because it, it was uh, only like two inches, well, probably three inches deep. But when I kicked the dirt over... Check that out. Hey, that's a V nickel. That's a V. That is a V. It's so muddy here, I can't keep it in film. Frame. V 
be nickel. Let me uh, let me clean this up. I'll get back with you. All right, there it is. Nice looking V nickel. Let's get it focused. Let me see the date on that. I can't really tell out here. 1887. 1887 V nickel. There we go. It's focused now. Good shape too. A lot of times these dates are these are worn real thin. It's got a little wear to it. All right, I'll take that. I wasn't even expecting a V nickel. But I'll take it. That means there's going to be some barbers out here in 1887. That could be possibly seated out here. All right, I've got a good signal here. 26, 27, 28. Showing to be about 8 inches, 6 inches deep probably. And uh, let's live dig this thing and let's see what we get. All right, come on, Barbara. I done got a V nickel and an Indian. So there's got to be a barber here. Come on. All right. Let's see what we got. Not in the hole. Well, I don't know where it's at. I just got a brand new pinpointer I bought off a nugget. Oh well. Let me get my detector. Okay, it's still down in the hole. Showing to be down in here still. There it is right there. Pop that out. Look at that. Oh, yes. Is that going to be Barber? I think it's going to be Barber. Check that out. 1909. Baby Barber. All right. All right, folks. It's time to bring out the holy water. It's got a new water bottle. The other one just kind of pittered out on me. Well, that's what it is. 1909 Barber Dime. I've got it on Nugget already. I've got three coins. He's got none. Smoking him. Oh, he's got stuff he hadn't told me what he's found. Yeah, he's probably got a Barber half. I'll tell you what, research pays off, doesn't it? I came out here. I talked to the landowner. Got on the historical aerial maps. Took the measurements and uh, and took the drone out and flew the measurements out here. And lo and behold, it's paying off. All right. All right, folks, getting a good solid 19, 18, 19, 20. Showing about eight inches, but usually it's about six inches deep. All right, I got it marked. So let's uh, live dig this. All right, good old sandy soil. Shallow. Oh, it's a musket ball. It's a musket. Mu yeah. Yeah, it's a musket ball. That's better. Check well, it out. Yeah, it's a relic. I'll take that. Old musket ball. Don't tell me how old that is. Early 1900s, most likely. Pretty cool. I thought it was going to be a penny. thought it was an I'll take this instead. All right, let's keep going. Solid 24. That may be a bottle cap. I'm getting out closer to the road. I dug a bottle cap earlier. And it could be a weedy. Let's see. It could be just junk. Well, you, you won't believe this. Check this out. How is that ringing up a 24? Look at that. I'm going to leave it in the impression right there. Wow. Nugget's too far away. He's on the other end of the, of the perimeter that we're digging on. I would not expect that to be a 24 to be a barber dime. The 19, 1906. I'll take it. I'll take it. Right here in this old wet bottom. Yep. 
1906. See if we have a mint mark on that thing. No mint mark. But I'll take that any day. All right, that's two barbers already. A V nick and uh, two V nicks. That one nugget got one, and also the uh, the Indian head. So we are definitely in the zone. Let's take some pictures and keep on going. Well, I just got a signal. It's just ringing like a 1718, so I didn't do a live dig because I didn't think it was going to be an Indian or anything, but I dug it up and popped it out. And it is an Indian head pity. Down here in this wet, it's really wet. 1893. 1893 Indian head penny. Ringing up like a 18, 17, 18 on the equinox. That's just weird. That barber rang up low too. I don't know if the water's playing part in this or what. So let's set it down here and let's get a picture and let's keep on rolling. All right. Four inches getting a solid 13. Let's uh, live dig this. It's right in the water. It's been raining all night and all day yesterday. Let's see. Let me get it here. There it is. Oh, I see it right there. You see it? Looks like it's going to be a V-nickel. Yeah. I don't know. They're coming out really good down here. Let me wipe it off without rubbing the patina off of it. What's that going to be? Can you read that? 1906. 1906 V-nickel. All right, keep on going. Nuggets back over that way. He thinks the house was down there. It's getting a lot of nails and stuff. And I keep, I keep searching in this area where the maps and the measurements I did, and I've been finding the coins. Well, I was working this little water, thinking it's just going to be some trash. I was getting a solid 19 to a 20. Popped it up, and here's the coin ball. I haven't even looked at it yet. I don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be a... Looks like it's going to be an Indian. Maybe? Is that an Indian? Let me clean it up here. Yeah. Very nice. Brown and black Indian. 1890. I think I just wiped all the toning off of this thing. They're just not toning too much. I don't know. They're just coins coming out of this ground really good out here. But uh, I don't know. That's number three, Indian. And it's right. It is right where I said it was going to be in this low spot. Back to that way. Over Nuggets kind of on the edge of it over there. Where his camera is right in the middle of the frame there. And right in here. Well, I was getting an 18 to a 22, real jumpy signal. Took me forever. Look how big a hole I had to dig. I couldn't pinpoint it. It's ringing up real weird. They're just not ringing up like good Indian heads out here, but it's a 1900 Indian head. I don't want to rub it too much because I'm rubbing toning off of it. A 1900 Indian head penny. Right out here where I said it was going to be. But uh, it took me a while to get this one. Got a 13. I just dug my Indian head right over there. Now this is a... This sounds like it's going to be a V-nickel or a buffalo nickel or a shield nickel. Let's see what this one's going to be. What do y'all think? It's going to be a shield? We dug those. All right, it's in the plug. We dug V nickels. Yeah, I see it right there. It fell out. 
It fell out of the plug. Right there. Our buffalo. Call it. You ready? Gonna reveal it. One, two, three. Looks like it's gonna be a V-nickel. Yeah. I think I got her upside down there. Yep. 1888 V-nickel. Pretty good condition. Yep, there it is. I'll take it. That's like number four for me today. I got a screamer. Yeah, 28, 29. This could be a quarter. Hold on, let me beat you. Showing the six inches deep. This could be quarter. Don't dig it yet. I got, I got to swing over it. I got oh, to swing over it? Yeah. All right. Now got to try the new, oh, new Viper coil. Goodness. You reading quarter or dime, you think? I'm getting, hold on, 84, 83. That may be quarter. We may get a barber here. Too low for a quarter, don't you think? I, I know it's in between a dime and a quarter, though. It's yeah. higher than a dime. And since the silvers have been showing lower. Yeah, pinpoint it for me. I don't know, dude. No, it's a coin. Hold on. It's literally like right in that. Like right where my tip of my foot at is, is that in there. Yeah, okay. Let's live, dude. Come on, quarter. They have been ringing lower. Oh. Better be good. We got it's right in clay. Oh, I think it's going to be silver. I hope it is a barber quarter. Um, I don't see it. Oh, oh look in there. Oh, it's a quarter, I think. It's got to be a quarter. It is. It's big, man. Four inches. It's big. I think it's a quarter. It's a quarter. Oh. Yes. Yes. What has it got on it? I don't know. I don't know. This is clay. It's real sticky clay. Is that a quarter? What is or this? Is it, a wash? it better be a quarter. <laughs> oh, man. I think it's seated. Or is it Barber? It's, oh, it's, it's a Barber. barber. It's, it's a Barber, barber 18 something. Oh, man. Oh, this is not going to wash off, guys. I'm going to have to pop the plug. It's just too oh, sticky it's, clay. It's clay. Here, hold my... Hold your camera. There you go. I know these people have been telling me not to rub my coins. I can't. It's so sticky clay. you got to rub that one, man. It ain't going to hurt it. All right. Let me uh, break out a little bit of oh, holy boy. water. <laughs> Yeah, that's just clay. Never even found it where the barn was. Yeah, it was closer to the barn, wasn't it? Definitely barber. Look at that. Oh man, that's beautiful. All right, let's see the date. Come on. That's sticky clay. Like a tarnish or something. Like yeah. It's 18, 1885, 1895. Man, it's 1800s though. Get a close up on that. Oh, yeah. What 1895, is it? 1895, I think. 1895. Check that yeah. out. We knew it was out here. Yeah, I think it's 95. I can't hold it still. I'm shaking too. Let me. <laughs> that is awesome. Here we go. Yeah, it's 1895. Yes. Amazing, man. Congratulations. All right. We knew it was out here. 
ringing up more like a dime though. Yeah, kind of weird. I guess the older silver gives lower numbers. That is beautiful. Yeah, I gotta get me one now. You're you're killing me. Yeah, there's gotta be more out here. Let's get some pictures and let's keep on trucking. Now I got another burst of energy. Got a good 11, 11, 12. About six inches deep. Let's uh, see if this is going to be another V nickel for us. It's right here where we've been digging the other ones. Right in this old muddy junk. Not in the hole. Well, where'd she go? I am notorious on getting a signal and losing it. That's crazy. Let's get the... See if you can find it. Oh yeah, it's still put on mover trouble. Let's see. So I miss it? It's still in there. Which side? It's like it's just right in there. Yeah. It's not it's giving maybe like a nickel. It's kinda of like weird, it's like forty six. Yeah, it's kinda of jumping around. Let's see here, let's just clean this hole out. In the hole? Yeah. That's weird. I'll come back to you when we find it. All right, Nugget came over here and helped me dig this thing out. We chased it everywhere, we couldn't find it. It must have been on edge. And there it is, it must have been standing straight up in the hole. It's a toasty one this time. What is that? It's a V nickel. You got cleaner hands than I do? It's pretty wiped clean. Is it buffalo? Being that red? Well, let's see. I can't tell what's on it. I think it's a V nickel. I think it is. I think it is a V nickel. Yeah, it's a, it's a V-nickel, yeah. Hold on. I'm about to get the date off of it. You can see the ladies? There's a head right there. Yep. The date would be down here. I don't know. But you can see it's a V-nickel. Yeah, it's a V-nickel. Let me get focused in. Not 18. What's that going to be? 1889? Let's see. Something like that? Hard to tell, but yeah, it's 18-something. All right. I'll, I'll take that. Right here, we're digging the other ones up. Well, I think that's going to do it for me. I am wore out. I am sunburned. Eight, minus eight degrees last week and 20, 74 degrees this week. And uh, I had 15 inches of snow out here and then rain all day yesterday and today. So I'm wore out. Nugget is still swinging. He didn't get him a silver today. I don't know if it's going to happen. He don't know. He wants a silver. I've been trying to find a silver for him. I can't even find a silver now. But we've taken five or six V nickels, five Indians, and two barber dimes and a barber quarter. So there's stuff out here, and we found them all right in this one section, right where my research pays off. So uh, we got a ways to walk back to the truck, and we'll do a wrap up there. I'll see you at the truck. Well, we wrapped it up for the day. We had a good day. Nugget had a better day yesterday than he did today. I had a better day today than I did yesterday. He got the silvers yesterday, I got the silvers today. And so I guess with your, uh, with your um, little competition, the Equinox beat the AT Pro today with a Viper coil. But just got on top of them, that's all it is. Uh, they weren't really deep, three to four inches at the deepest. And uh, some were harder to find than others. But we had a good day. I appreciate Nugget coming out with me this weekend. We got one more spot we're gonna go hit tomorrow if it doesn't rain. 
and we got stuff laid out let me turn you around let me show you what we got all right there's our trash for the day at least that's my trash nuggets trash is not in here we dug the same type of trash though tons of tons of bullets aluminum scrap mason jar car parts bottle tops iron i didn't dig any of the iron i could have dug a lot more but i left it in the ground i wasn't out digging that and uh got one one buckshot here um probably early 1900s i ended up getting four indian head pennies i think the oldest one was in the 1800s the other 1900s or 1893 was one and uh got a good day on v nickels 1888, 1887, 1908, and I think it, either a 1910 or 18690. Not sure on the last one. It's pretty much corroded. And uh, Nugget had, was that 38 Weedy? Yeah, 38, 36, 38 Weedy, it looks like. And then he got a good Indian head, came out of the ground looking really good, 1891. And then he also got two V nickels, too. And uh, that one looks silver on camera but it's actually red uh when you look at it live both of those are really red but they look silver on top of the on uh, on the video but here are my finds i got two good barbers got sisters there 1906 and they got an older one 1909 and that's good but the find of the day is going to be this nice 1895 barber that was the last coin or the next to the last coin that i dug and so that's a good one. I feel good. I got three silvers today. Well, Nugget, what'd you think? I think it was tough, <laughs> but, you know, I still had a good hunt. A lot of walking. And I think my favorite coin is the Indian head. Yeah. 1891. Yeah. But if you... If I, if I had to choose, I would rather swing over the barber cord. <laughs> oh, yeah. Every time. Every time. That's the truth. Well, there's all the trash. And here's all the treasure for the day. And like I always say, the greatest treasure is not what you can come out to a ghost town field and dig out of the ground and put on your tailgate. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to say happy hunting and God bless. trivia time the trivia question for this uh, video is going to be this in my video frozen I found a ring tell me what type of ring it was was it a a 14 karat gold ring was it B a 18 karat gold ring with diamonds or was it a C a 18 karat gold white gold ring white gold ring with diamonds which of the three was it first one to answer that correctly and in the comments below is going to win a PD sticker and something else. So good luck, everybody.